John Etchison, wow, what a man. Um, my official AAR is, that was, that was a tough event. We did a lot of planning on the back end. Um, all the cadre were read right on to the plan the entire time. We knew what we were doing. We knew where to be when. Um, 53 people failing the PT standards, though, was a big surprise to me and the rest of the cadre. So that caught us off guard, uh, that that many people showed up not able to pass the PT standard. And I can all echo everybody else who said anything. Just, just come prepared for that. Come ready to not just meet the minimum standard, but exceed it. Uh, because there's going to be other factors that you're going to have to deal with, whether it be weather, whether it be your nerves, uh, the cadre in your face. Uh, there's other factors you're going to have to consider besides um, just doing the, the PT tests itself. After the PT tests, uh, we had about 31. No, we had 31 who started the, the welcome party. 12 of them were remaining after that. So that's as simple as saying, hey, don't let people get into your head because we're, it's easier said than done. I know we're, we're kind of like magicians when it comes to getting into people's heads, but don't let us bother you. We had zero performance drops the entire GoRex selection. So uh, that means everybody was either an admin drop because they didn't pass the PT standards, a voluntary withdrawal, which means they quit, or a med drop. And we had two med drops the entire GoRex selection which means they, we couldn't safely let people go forward. Um, overall, though, a success. Thank God, thank God John uh, had what it took to finish the event. All right, so talk a little bit more about the disappointment. Well, I don't want to rub it in too much because it's already been harped on enough. Um, Maybe a lot of those people who failed the administrative portion, which was the PT tests, maybe they passed it in their own comfy comforts of their own gym or an indoor track on a treadmill or whatever the case may be. So I don't want to rub it in too much, but I was disappointed in, in some of the people who failed that because I knew I knew them personally. I knew that they could they could pass. So. I mean, overall, it was a disappointment. Um, show up prepared. You, you can you can practice push-ups and sit-ups on the fucking moon. So there's no reason to, to not be able to, to pass push-ups and sit-ups when you come here. All right, so what's life like as a cadre behind the scenes during selection? Like, describe your evolution. Not a lot of sleep. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the big hitters, myself, Mocha Mike, and Cadre Burt, along with, I'm just going to say all the cadre, um, it's a lot of work. So we need to be prepared as much as we can in front of the participants uh, so we don't look unprofessional. So the planning and, and the things that go on behind the scenes uh, are very labor intensive. Uh, I mean, the brief that I put out to the cadre uh, the night before was, was three hours long. Um, so there's a lot of work. We phased out the cadre in three phases. Uh, the first phase after 12 hours, after the welcome party, we phased out some cadre. And we phased out some more cadre after the 24 hour mark. Uh, some of those cadre stayed on because they, they just loved to, to be a part of it. Um, but it's a lot of work, a lot of sleeping in vehicles, a lot of no showering, a lot of minimal food, and... Um, okay, let me, let me be more specific. What's the the emotional progression of a cadre? Like, do you enjoy Go Ruck Selection? No, no, I don't. It's my least favorite event because for me, it's the opposite of what Go Ruck stands for. I love the Go Ruck Challenge. That's my favorite event. It's very difficult. It's a challenge to everybody involved. Uh, but 94% of the people who start finish. So that being said, the majority of the people are there at the end, and the feeling of accomplishment is is high, and the camaraderie. Uh, it, it's like a it's like a natural high for the people. So they, I love it. I love to be a part of it. I love to watch the progression of, of a Goruk challenge. Goruk selection is completely different. It's an individual event. It goes against everything that we stand for as a company. The, I mean, 
the, the reason why it was created is because people wanted more. People wanted an individual challenge. So we said, hey, no problem. We got it. We, we'll give you Hell Week. Hell Week of uh, Special Forces Assessment and Selection. That's what Go Ruck Selection is, is based off of. Um, so, no, I don't like it. At the beginning, we're probably the first 24 to 30 hours, we're actively trying to get people to voluntarily withdraw, we're trying to get people to quit, trying to get into their heads, trying to get into their, their psyche. After 24 hours or 30 hours, we don't need to do that anymore because it's already in their head that, that they're hurting. So we kind of taper off and we start rooting for the remaining participants. Uh, the behind the scenes is, is, is kind of funny because we all want these people to finish, but we're not willing to uh, lower you know, the GORUCK standards for, for selection. So um, it's not like we're helping them along the way. What are your thoughts for people that might want to take it on? Train hard. Uh, train hard and get your mind right. When I say train hard, that I know that's vast, but the administrative portion, you need to be well above the minimum. That's the minimum standard. If we did the minimum standard in our special operations career, we'd be laughed out of the team room, literally. Laughed out of the team room if we did the minimum standard. So show up, uh, being able to knock that out of the park. Uh, if you show up, being, being able to pass the administrative portions and quitting isn't even a thought on your mind, your chances of finishing GORUCK selection and getting that patch, getting this patch, uh, go up substantially. All right, so if if you had to do this in six months, what would you do? I would ruck a lot. I would, I would train my ass off. I would ruck. I would run. I would make sure that my push-ups, sit-ups, five-mile run, 12-mile ruck were well below the GORUCK selection standard, which is the special operations standard in, in the military. Uh, and I would make sure my mind's right. I would make sure it, it is exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, I would make sure that I'm not doing it for a silly patch or for free go rough good living events. I would make sure I had a reason uh, to do it that, that's beyond myself, just like every go rough finisher has. So what are your thoughts about, real quick, about John, AJ, and Tim specifically? And there's not much to say about John. The, the man is, is superhuman. He was a great man throughout the entire event. I spoke to a lot of cadre, and we didn't even pass the 30 hour mark. We're like, who is this guy? Who is 025? Nobody knew him. Uh, we finally started doing our research on him and, and found out he was a Reno, uh, a Reno GRT. That crew's uh, some, some tough guys out there. So um, we got to know him a little bit that way. Uh, AJ, we all know AJ very well. He's a beast and quitting. Is absolutely not in his mind. He pushed his mind and his body well beyond their limits. Uh, no words can be said. The amount of respect I have for that man is cannot be said in words. Um, who else? Zero six Tim. nine. Yeah, zero six Tim nine. and uh, Chris Holt. Chris Holt as well. Tim Schiffmark and Chris Holt. Beasts. They they were on the level of AJ. Just they knew their bodies a little bit better and they knew they didn't want to push it to that limit. AJ's just stubborn. I mean, what can we say about him? Um, but both Tim and Chris, mad respect to those gentlemen as well for getting as far as they did. All right, so last question. How hard is GORUCK selection? Hardest endurance event I've ever seen or, or been a part of uh, outside of the military. It is in comparison to the hardest endurance event I've ever been in in the military. Um, it's very, very difficult. You better have your shit ready or else you're not going to make it. 